Hello, and welcome to a demonstration of Media Pulse. In the next few minutes, we will go over six helpful schedule book features every Media Pulse user should know about. The first schedule book feature we will demonstrate is how to add a single resource to multiple orders. In this example, we will assign an editor to a few orders. For example, let's select a few order bookings for our editor, Ken. Simply click on the desired booking bar. Note all the other bookings not associated with this order fade in color. Once you have selected all the desired bookings, you can assign a resource to these orders by clicking next to their name on the Y axis. Note the outlines of the new bookings for the new resource. Save the Edit Multi-Item window. As you can see, this resource now has the new order bookings we selected. The second schedule book feature is how to select resources on separate views. If you have a lot of resources and you only want to view a few at a time, you can use this feature to create a temporary or permanent workspace. For example, let's select five resources while holding down the control key. Still holding control, click on a resource to open Resource Hover Bar Details, click the Timeline View icon. This will bring the selected resources to a new scheduling view on your dashboard for a temporary workspace. If you want to keep the scheduling view, go to the Actions menu and select Save View. Name this view and click Save. The third schedule book feature you should know about is Group Availability. This feature allows you to see how many items are available to be scheduled for a particular scheduling group. For example, go to Items, check Show Available for a group. For our example, let's select the availability for Edit Bays and Editors. Click Save. Notice the number appears at the top of the scheduling group. Now, let's add a booking and watch the number go down by one. This means one less resource is available for the time in between the tick lines. You can also zoom in to see more detailed availability. As you can see, there are more numbers to show the availability of resources. The fourth schedule book feature is how to link times in multiple views. This feature is helpful when you are working on multiple scheduling views at once. For example, you can see my dashboard displays multiple schedule book views. If you go to Timeline and check the box on Keep Tab Dates and Times in Sync, then all the schedule book views will stay on the same date and time value. As you can see, these calendars all start on the same day. Now, if we navigate to a different date and time, you will see all the other calendars still show the new date and time. The fifth schedule book feature we will show is how to add bookings to different schedule views at one time. We will need to split the dashboard into two panels to display both scheduling views. For example, let's say we need to schedule an editor on a graphics bay. First, let's split the dashboard into two panels. Click and drag the desired schedule book tab and place it to the right side of the screen in the half shaded area this will allow you to see both views side by side. Now, let's select a resource to add an order booking to. Click and drag on the desired time. Before we save this quick hold, let's add a resource from the other schedule book view 
to this order. Click Save. As you can see, this created a booking for the selected resources on both schedule book views. The sixth schedule book feature you should know is how to split order bookings. This is helpful when you need to break up a single booking into multiple transactions. Transactions can be split in two distinct ways, equal split or interval split. Equal split is a quick method for users to split a single transaction into two equal parts. Interval split allows users to split a single transaction into two or more transactions and optionally create new orders. For example, right click on an order booking you would like to have an equal split. Go to Edit, Equal Split. As you can see, this order booking is now separated. Also note, both bookings still have a setup time attached. Now, let's try interval split. Right click on a booking and go to Edit, Interval Split. Let's put 3H for the interval, meaning three hour splits. You have the option to create new orders by checking the box here. For this example, we will keep it the same order. Click Save and Close. As you can see, this booking is now split up into three order bookings. This was a short demonstration of six helpful schedule book features every Media Pulse user should know. For more tips and tricks on Media Pulse, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any questions, please contact us at support at